Welcome! Our real-life problem is, we want to predict the number of rainbow fish in our aquarium over time. We thought about the relevant quantities and in this video we are going to work on the mathematical model which is a differential equation. Let's first review the information we found on rainbow fish. We defined the number of rainbow fish, the population size, at some time t in days as a function p of t. We start with a population of 30 fish, so p0 equals 30. We estimated the number of baby fish born each day per rainbow fish as 0.7 per day and named this the constant b. For this first model, we estimated that the death rate of the rainbow fish is 0.001 per day. We are now going to look how p, the population size, changes over time. Consider a small time interval delta t. Think of delta t as a couple of days, or one day, or half a day. In the end, we are going to use an infinitely small time interval delta t. How is p going to change during the interval delta t? Denote the change of p during the interval delta t by the symbol delta p. Delta p is the difference between p at time t plus delta t minus p at time t. The population size changes only because of births and deaths. If we have p rainbow fish, in one day b times p new rainbow fish are born. So if you wait delta t days, in total b times p times delta t new rainbow fish are born. Let's check the units. The unit of delta p is number of fish. The unit of b is per day. p is the number of fish. Delta t is in days. If you multiply the units of b, p and delta t, you get the unit number of fish. This is the same unit as the unit of delta p. So the un units in the equation are ok. In the same delta t days, a total of d times p times delta t die. So in total, during those delta t days, the population of rainbow fish grows by the amount b times p times delta t and decreases, and thus the minus sign, by d times p times delta t. Our equation thus becomes delta p equals 0.7p times delta t minus 0.001p times delta t. As the death rate is clearly much smaller than the precision of the birth rate, we will neglect it and approximate the difference by 0.7p times delta t. An equation such as this is called a balance equation. Note that on the first day we start with 30 fish. So then delta p equals 0.7 times 30 times delta t. But in later moments the population has changed and p is something else. So the initial number of 30 fish is not used in the equation for delta p, the change in p. The balance equation is valid for all times. This balance equation forms the basis of our differential equation. A differential equation is an equation containing a derivative. So you should perform a few steps on the balance equation such that you obtain a derivative. Let us recall what the definition of the derivative is for a general function f of x. The derivative of the function f of x equals the limit of h to 0 of f at x plus h minus f at x over h, or said differently, the limit of delta x to 0 of delta f divided by delta x. If you apply this definition to the population size p of t, you obtain the derivative of the population p of t equals the limit of delta t to 0 of delta p divided by delta t. Now let us compare the balance equation in the population size p and the definition of the derivative of p. Both contain delta p, but in the definition it is divided by delta t and the limit for delta t to 0 is taken. First, we are going to divide the balance equation by delta t. You may do this because delta t is not equal to zero. This gives us the equation 
delta P over delta T equals 0.7 times P. Now take the limit of the equation as delta T tends to zero. The limit in the right hand side now is easily calculated since there is no delta T in there. So this part equals 0.7 times P. The left hand side is exactly the definition of the derivative of P as you already wanted. Thus we arrived at the following equation. The derivative of P equals 0.7 times P. This equation is a differential equation, an equation containing a derivative. The equation only describes how the population changes. So to calculate the size of P itself, we need a starting point, the initial condition. Our initial condition is of course that we start with a population of 30 fish at time t equals zero. In the next exercise, you will solve this differential equation yourself to find the population at time t.